We have won the Great War. Now we will win the last war. We'll rip her out root and stem. Favorite parts of this of the series of, of this episode was mm-hmm. uh yeah, like her giving that um that you know title to Gendry, because Gendry this whole time has been a fucking He's a bastard child. He should be. Should have been more, but just been a fucking armor his whole life, uh, living in the slums. And so for him to all of it, all of a sudden, who I mean, first of all, they need to take the kingdom. So I mean, don't really mean much now. But he he does have that title of being mm-hmm. a lord now, and it was pretty cool. Um, so he gets uh, pumped up, and we see a lot of things. We see. Uh, well, yeah, we that whole how, room was like. Like especially like with uh with uh Sansa and and Daenerys and John, like you can see the tension like like right there because now okay now that the the the, the war with the the Night King is over, uh we gotta settle who's gonna be the king queen whatever. Uh, Danny knows about John and yeah I mean it's really a lot of things in that moment up in the air. Yeah well I mean we see of course uh. Uh, John being celebrated by Tormund right. um, uh, and being Prokel the King. We also see how um, the little um, what's his name uh, Tyrion, Tyrion with Jamie. They're playing a game with the with the weird ass knight and I don't know the weird ass knight Brienne of Toth. Oh yeah, um, Brienne. <laughs> yeah, Brienne and 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 Podrick and they're making like this game, like guessing stuff about them. And then Jamie's like, which it leads to a stupid scene that I'm gonna say, but. Um, uh, Jamie, you know, they're playing the game, and at the same time, you have uh, this tense situation because if you notice, John is on one side and the queen is by herself. Yeah. And, yeah. like, that's kind of telling uh, of, of what has been going on. Like, they, there's been some distance in between them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, throughout this process, they're celebrating, they're drinking. We see the hound um, talk to Sansa, too. He's like, you dumbass, if you would have came, like I told you, stupid ass, none of this shit would have happened. She's like, oh, I wouldn't have been a little bud. You see, all well, yeah, bird she bird. wouldn't have grown as a person. Yeah, she's a stupid person, though. She should have been killed. Not but really. uh, So far, she's like the smartest one out of all of them. Uh, nah, I, I tend to disagree on that one. Boom. Yeah. Um, Sansa, Sansa. He's, I don't know why he's hating she's, on her now. I mean. She's I, literally the smartest one. She's literally the one who's been, like, keeping everything, holding it down in Winterfell. I, I'll give her that. I'll give you that, but well, I'll I'll explain why later. So we see that take place. Uh, we also see uh, John like be bashful, like uh, like because Tormund is like, oh, you 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 wrote a dragon, <laughs> you did this, you did that, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. the king, a true king, and he was just ah. And then he looks at Danny, and he's like, ah, okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, so yeah, we see we see that little interaction with them, and of course we did see that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they were playing that drinking game, and then, of course, Tyrion asked, like, uh, Brianna, hey, you're a virgin. You're a well, virgin. Well, he didn't ask. He, he just he made like, a statement. He's yeah, like, you're, you're a virgin. virgin. <laughs> you're and a virgin. she, of course, <laughs> like, did not answer. Little. Yeah, putting her on blast. Like, boy, you know, <laughs> I'm about to catch these hands, little man. But, uh, yeah, my like. My boy, Jamie. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah. So, let me get to that. That's one of the most stupidest yeah. shit. Because there's no point. There, th- this is just done no for point. Fan- There was what? no point. It was just done for fanfare. Like, what do you mean? Like, they um, so, so, and they developed this since the season. beginning, right? So they could have killed off Jamie. They could have killed off her. There was no need for that scene, you yes. know? You mean their uh, love scene? Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. So he tells, so Tyrion's like, oh, you're a virgin or whatever. She's like, excuse me, I need to piss. And like, get your bitch ass out of here. And so she walks off. And then uh, Charmone, you know what I'm saying? He's like, mm. man, we alive, girl. We survived, girl. So what's up? And she's like, uh, no. And so she turns around. And then he's like, I'm going to see what's up. So he walks, and then Jamie cock blocks him. He stands up like, Yo, well, duh, that's his girl. And I'm like, bitch, get your one hand ass up before I smack shit out of you. So he turns around, and then, you know, he made my boy Tormund cry, bro. My boy Tormund was crying. He, you know, he got rejected. Yeah, but he got, he, got, he got over that real quick, though. Don't worry yeah. about it. He found another one real yeah, fast. Yeah, he found someone else real fast. But um, so... They move forward to the scene where it's the most awkward scene. You can tell it was placed there. There was no need for it. What's the way he, he walks in, he's like, it's warm in here. And he starts taking off his coat. Like, oh, what the fuck? Okay. Like, it's, you're, you're giving it away. And then not only that, 
She's like, what are you doing? I'm taking off her shirt. Like, so hold on. Okay, it was first, just stupid. It was so fucking stupid. Okay, first, I know your first time was awkward as fuck. As oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Five minutes, baby. Time. Five minutes. Five minutes. And awkward where I did it, ain't no okay. way. Yeah, I, was decided, I don't know why you're bragging about five minutes. Hey, man. I was, I was a virgin. Everybody's first hey, time is I was 15. I was 15. And, and I was 15 I like years the sincer- old. Ex- and I like the sincerity of that. The fact that, hey, first times are fucking awkward. So, no shit. That shit was awkward as fuck. For her, at least. And for him. But they've been building a relationship for for seasons, right? Uh, first respect, then the friendship, then more. So this, I was actually waiting for this because I knew, I was like, it's bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it was bound to happen. I don't yeah. know. Losis so was, like, where... like, was like one of those pussy-ass romantics, like the weird-ass, dumb-ass romantics. Well, so like, he, he uh, speaking of romantics, person. actually, so we, we actually see Gendry find Arya. And yeah. then... <laughs> so he goes up to her all lovey dovey he's like look girl like i want you he got Danny down on the knee lord of storm's end and like I, if i'm gonna be a lord i need a lady you know and then he gets <laughs> on his one knee and proposes bro and of course i mean it, of course everybody knew it, she was gonna be like hell to the now nah. yeah i'm not that kind i was of actually gonna be shocked if she was like yes i was gonna be like yeah, so Let that would have been the shocking would she would have It wouldn't yeah. shock me. It wouldn't shock me if if she she does become a lady. It wouldn't shock me. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm expecting it by the end of the show for her to be a lady with that dude. What? Oh, dang. So you're expecting not, her to survive the whole happen. season? It's yeah. not gonna happen. She's gonna, <laughs> her her whole purpose is to kill the people that have wronged her. Once that's done, what does she have? No. Mm. Uh, one last thing. Um, the, the she tells Gendry like uh, that's not me. It's the yes. same line she told her dad back in season one when when she was, like, playing around. And he was telling oh, her, when yeah, you yeah. grow up, you're going to, you know, be a lady and your boys and your little girls are going to be. And she's like, no, that's not me. So it's the same line. It's kind of funny that it's the same line that she gave to her dad, the one that she gave to Gendry. Yeah, that's um, true. Uh, but, but uh, uh, yeah, I, exa- uh-huh. I don't think they're going to go back on that. If they go back no, and make her I don't, a lady... I- they're basically throwing away everything they've done since season one uh, of character development for Arya. And I think you, at this at this yeah. junction with Arya, that it, to me it seems she's not going to make it through the season. I think she's going to end up dying. And like especially especially what you just said, JP, about she has like a list of people she needs to kill or she wants to kill whatever they're wrong. Yeah. Her. After yeah, that, that like you why, just said it, like it, what does she it, have after what that? She, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I think it, it, now it, you're, you're I don't even think like that she's gonna die. She probably gonna end up her. dying, like, like killing somebody important. I think like she'll get stabbed and like she'll, be, she'll almost die, and then she'll be like a quiet woman with that'll be crucial. <laughs> whatever the fuck she with. But uh, yeah, Arya so dies, like, yeah, that, so that's from this from this scene, we we move into another one where. Okay, again, things are like a little bit uh, like serious with Danny because she's like you know, hella concerned about like John taking over and like basically being king when his she name wants to be Rhaegon queen. Targaryen. And his name is Rhaegon Targaryen. His name is Rhaegon Targaryen. So John is a little turned up right now. He's in his room, you know. He's like, "Fuck," you know, drank too much. Danny comes in, like, "You drunk?" He's like, "Nah," but I am. But anyways, so we get to the moment where he's like, "Look, I don't want to be king. I know where you're coming from." Like, whatever happens, you're going to be the queen. But she's like, hell to the nah. If anybody else was to find out who you really are, mm-hmm. like, that's going to change everything. So she... she and, and that's she, her yeah. smartest thing. That's the smartest thing she told him. Um, I think out of everything that I've seen her do, that was the smartest thing she told him. She was like, which, dude... Which is if, that she wants him to swear not to tell not anyone to one. else. And he, being the dumbass that he is and at times, because Jon Snow is a dumbass at points in this whole season. Mm-hmm. He does a lot of stupid, stupid things. This is one of the most stupidest things. Um, if he didn't want to be there, if he didn't want to be a king, he could have just stuck with being Jon Snow, son of Ned Stark, and that was it. Um, he felt like he was inclined to tell his siblings. Oh, well, we're um, not there yet. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, at that moment, her, I mean, at this moment, her, like, she, he's telling her, he's like, look, it doesn't matter, but they're my family, that they're my sisters mm-hmm. and my brother. Like, they're, I have to tell them. Now, I can't keep secrets from them. Yeah. And then Arya beforehand was uh, emphasizing this to him, too. Like, don't forget us. We're your family, no matter what. Like, yeah. Even, though, even is, though everybody pretty much knows that he's in love with her, yeah. like, they're telling him, look, 
if it comes to a moment where you have to pick her or us, you better remember where you came from. Yeah, but then uh, 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 Danny um, tells him, dude, your sister don't like me. Your sister is not the sister you grew up with. She's a right. bitch. That's true. Lie. Dude, you need I'm to get it bitch, to your head. Yeah. She's a bitch. I th I think no, she's not. She I think it's one not. of the worst things they're doing. No, I'm not. She's a bitch. One, one of the Stop. worst I'm things they're serious. doing. Um, one of the worst things the they're doing. The um, one of the worst things they're doing with um with Daenerys specifically is like how she she everyone knows she was one of the most beloved characters in this in the series, and how they're slowly turning the audience against her and making her a bad guy basically in these in this situation. Wait, I don't turning like against it. who? I'm sorry, against Daenerys. That. Uh, oh, like turning the audience against Daenerys, like basically turning Daenerys into a bad guy. Well, I don't think I don't think, I don't think they, they're, they're doing it to where like they're making it seem like she's the bad guy. It's of more like you're, you're seeing you're seeing what what's happening with her. It's like, the Mad King like virus. She she doesn't she she's in love with John, but now that John tells her like what's going on, she understands that he has the the right for the for the throne. That's number one. Number two, she has one of her dragons die, which are her, like her children. That's going to affect her. And now she has most of her army that's gone. You know? So th all this shit is affecting her. And now it's, it's getting to a point where it's like, like she's just going off of her emotions and not, and not thinking about things like, you know, two or three steps ahead. So at this now, moment, that's I, where we're at. I, I get it. But, you know, if, if you see Daenerys up to this point, She's merciful. She's been merciful. She's mm. been understanding. She's made oh, all no. the right decisions. She has decisions. not been merciful, sir. She's, she's not been all, merciful. She has not been merciful. And that's, <laughs> the, that's the point. Hell no. no. That's the no, point. She, not all the time. But because she's she, made the right that's decisions. That's the point that they're she's trying to drive. The wrong, she, she hasn't made the right decision. She, yeah. she made a lot she's of mistakes. The right, no, she's, she's made the right decision. But the whole Samuel Tarly, she didn't make the right decision. Yeah, I think now we're trying to see. Them motherfuckers weren't going to, like, Swear uh, allegiance to her. She had. She did the right decision. She had to kill them all. Well, mm -hmm. she, so, killed, she she basically made other people hear that she just burned them alive. You have to understand, mm -hmm. it's other people, her people that she's gonna rule. Like, you know, I didn't. I didn't, You know, people told me, you know, oh, you know, like, you know, Los is a nice guy, but then when I met your person, I'm like, you're a bitch. So I'm like, you're a bitch. That's the same thing. Like, they they're seeing that and they see her burn. She's not being merciful. Yeah. No. But. I feel like they're just basically turning every, everybody against her. Uh, already, like you said, the secret's out that, you know... Uh, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so he, after this whole thing comes up, they, they get into the war room, they discuss their next step, which, mm. that's, stupid, that's a stupid scene. I don't see the point of having that scene on there. It makes no sense. I mean, it's just in the aspect of what they're going to do, but they don't even give, like, a really good in depth like it was no need for that so th they go they discuss their plan um, no i mean it, it, that, moment, that that moment is where you really feel like like danny is not, is like ready to attack cersei but of course mm -hmm. like sansa's saying like wait maybe we should wait because we just had this huge battle and our our army is fucking like injured and tired like which is a good point and then which is a good one, point. Of, one of her dragons is like injured as well and needs to recover but danny looks like let's go Let's go. Next one. And that was her mistake. And yeah. th that's based on the emotion. But they, yeah. they're pulling at her emotions because then, like, once she, she finds out. Danny would have not done this. Uh, she still would have mm, done it. She still I don't know. Done it. I mean, I, I, honestly, I mean, she's she's now in a position that she wasn't before where she has so much power and everybody, like, realizes that. And then now she's like, like, now that I have the option to do it faster than, like, sooner than later, I mean, really, it's probably who she's always been. Well, th that's what they're trying to see because you know how the, yeah. the Mad King and all that stuff. So she goes, she flies off to her to her keep, and then John goes by land to uh, King's Landing, and mm -hmm. that's when John goes through this whole thing where where well, I yeah, think it's after, a whole yeah, ass after move. that after that meeting, like Arya's like, we need to talk. Yeah. So yeah. they they go to the they go to that crybaby tree that bleeds red or whatever, yeah. and like so it's it's Sansa, Arya, and Bran. And mm -hmm. John, of course. So they're talking like, man, you know, we don't trust uh, Daenerys. No, no, no. Bran doesn't say shit. He no, just I know, I know. That's Arya, not Bran. That's not, not Bran. Bran. <laughs> I'm not saying Bran said that. He's just like, 
but they they said yeah, they basically said rating. like look right. we don't trust her we it's know you're in choice. love with her and whatnot but it, you know choice. this at this moment like we need to do something so at this point is where basically john is like john tells him john, john tells him john is like you know what i'm gonna just tell him anyways so stupid but, motherfucker so he stupid. doesn't tell he doesn't tell him because uh, at this point brand actually says you know what it's it's up to you, you the smartest shit brand said the whole fucking that's only like the one line he has in the whole show it's your choice it's your choice in other words don't be a pendejo and john snow became a pendejo and he was like he let his emotions get the best of him and he was like oh i'm gonna tell you so he tells him so you he will tells. hide but you would have to understand that he doesn't want to hide anything from them the thing is, there's some things, and, and this is just this is an everyday life. There are some things that you do not <laughs> this tell. Is, this is one of JP's mantras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You tell do them, not tell. tell them, JP. You do not tell certain things to your family. There's some things that are just meant for you and for you alone. That's it. That's it. No you don't go else. and no one else. That's just you. You murder right? someone, you keep that shit to yourself. You damn well keep that shit to yourself, especially <laughs> if you don't get caught. Because uh, family will snitch. No, hey, we have seen it. We have seen it. <laughs> We have experienced it. We we have experienced it. Well, then, I mean, yeah, that, that goes into effect. Like, it, it also like uh, it's. Op- it, it, I like how it is. Like in that moment, like opening to interpretation because people, people, different people have different views on how things True. be. So I, I I get what you're saying. That's fine. I'm not gonna argue. It, it's that. just that. But, it's just that he uh, knows. He knows that Sansa's not in her right state of mind. He knows that Sansa is distressing. No, he no, knows no, 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 that no, she, no, 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 that she, no, 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 no. Everybody knows Sansa is like on on her game, on her A game. No, like everybody she's not. knows. She fucked. She fucked up because then no, she went she in, in full Tyrion. Actually, she, you come on. um actually that's funny you say that because you probably you didn't you just saw the 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 next I week, next week's episode right, but after that they actually talked about that scene where he well but we're gonna get to that, um okay. so okay. Okay, where are we? Uh, Danny wants to tag, but no. Uh, 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 Starks powwow. I put I put here. Starks had a powwow. <laughs> they did have a powwow, and, and like after that powwow, we see movements taking place because Arya leaves with the dog or the hound, whatever the fuck y'all want to call him. Well, Arya shit. leaves, but then the hound like you know tags along. Whatever, no, you know, no, whatever, whatever. the hound. The oh no, the leaving. hound leaves, but and Arya she, tags along. Yeah. But without him wanting to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they have some banter. And then <laughs> we see uh Daenerys Targaryen leaving. And then we see Jon Snow saying his goodbyes. And then we find out that I guess Sam Charlie doesn't shoot blanks. Um, so he got Gilly pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah. He got her pregnant. <laughs> no, but I mean, then we also see that, that Jamie decides to stay in Winterfell. Even though like, oh, there was a scene pr- prior saying that oh, he doesn't wolf, like the North. What? Pussy wolf motherfucker, bro. Why go risk your life? Oh, He's I'm one-handed. Gonna, oh, I'm going to shake yeah. y'all. Yeah. Like, what, what is he going to do? Stay chill, live your life out, be happy. Hey, but hey, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was for the best or maybe not. But we we'll, forgot we'll one important scene. We forgot one but important I'm, scene. But I'm getting to the next part. So okay. so then we see, we, we cut to Jamie and, and Tyrion chilling, talking, drinking. And then all of a sudden, who shows up? Fucking Bron. Bron. <laughs> Fucking Bron. Bron shows up. He has the crossbow. This and motherfucker, bro. And he basically is like, well, you know, hey, like, hey, what's, what's good, everybody? You know, what y'all doing? Y'all living? Shut the fuck up, Tyrion. Oh, Pop! man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut he's, like, he's like, oh, real quick, um, your sister sent me here to kill you, but, you know, I kind of don't want to because I kind of feel you guys are going to win the fight. You know how I do. And then, uh, of course... Tyrion thinking that, you know, Bronn ain't going to kill me. You know, we've, we've been through a lot. And, no, nope, Bronn made it pretty clear that he's willing to kill him. He but, mm-hmm. he basically haggles with him. He's mm-hmm. like, look, I have a feeling that, that y'all going to win, um, mm-hmm. but but don't die on the battlefield. So he's going to get high garden, which I don't, I don't know if you <laughs> no, guys well, know. Well, the thing is, is that, is that uh, Tyrion told him, he's like, do you remember what I told you? Like if anybody ever uh, like <laughs> hires you to uh, to kill me, that I would pay double. And then Bron is like, "Well, what's double than uh, I forget the name of the castle?" He's like, "High Garden." Yeah, He's High like, Garden. We'll give you High Garden. He's High like, Garden is where that uh, the um what's her Marjorie. Uh, oh, where they were from? Yeah, what, mm-hmm. where they have all that that, mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that change, mm-hmm. all that money. But and, uh, yeah, so basically Tyrion promises him High Garden. He's like, "Look." You don't kill us. We'll give you High Garden. But of course, this is all dependent if we win the the war. 
He's like, okay. He's like, he's like, if you don't win the war, I'll be back. Like, no matter what. He's like, all right. So then, so we see that we see that moment. Bron disappears again into the into the mist that he came in with. And um, <laughs> what else have we got here? Just uh, walks into the middle. Yeah, he just walks no. in there. Like, and then whatever. like uh, everyone's leaving, and then uh, Tyrion walks up to Sansa. Oh and, yeah. And yeah. Sansa's like, you know, looking at the sky because the dragons are leaving. And then uh, he's like, uh, I'm leaving, you know, whatever, whatever. And she's like, Oh. What if there was someone better? Well, yeah, like Tyrion at this moment is trying to tell Sansa, like, hey, look, I know you you and Daenerys, like, don't like each other. You don't have to like each other. But at least try to get along. Because, I mean, in the end, she's probably is going to be your queen. and But you're, I mean, nothing's going to change in the north. If anything, you're going to run the north. But, you know, Sansa, of course, doesn't doesn't trust Dan, Danny. And she's, and she's actually questioning him about him trusting her. And... He says, do you fear her? And he's like, and he gives her the right response. Any fucking ruler is going to put some fear in you. Mm -hmm. Any fucking ruler. And so, you know what I mean? Like, that's the most smart ass, smartest comment to fucking say. Right. And she's like, what if someone was better? And, and you know, based on the episodes, on what they say, you know she told him. You know. Yeah, well, so uh, this yeah, is where yeah. we... So, yeah, we get to the point where, where Santa's like, yeah, look... Uh, so yeah, they they get they, they, they talk ass. to each other. Tyrion is starting to leave, and then she decides, "I'm gonna tell him about." John. And see, and this is why I feel like, and the show's so good because I, not that I don't dislike Sophie Turner, I know that's just a character. Uh, but if you guys remember, in the first couple of seasons, the first season, second season, her mom era una metiche, metiche. She used to get involved in stupid shit that she had no business getting involved with. She's the one that caused Ned Stark to get his head cut off. Because she, she would not kidnap Tyrion. Like he told her, stay your stupid ass in the castle. I'll handle it. And she did it. And so he got his head chopped off. Now we see that mother syndrome go into Sansa Stark. That's why I said she's a bitch. Because she did something that was none of her business or none of her concern at all. Well, she, okay. At this point is where, is where they talked about that scene, like after the episode. And, the, and they're saying at this point, like Sansa is pretty much... She's okay. She's learned from everybody she's had encountered, and like she learned from Tyrion. Obviously, she's learned from like um, all the all the other Lannisters who've been fucking her over and shit. And then she also learned from Littlefinger, and Littlefinger is one of those guys who was always kind of thinking ahead. So what they're saying in the post show is saying that she knew what she was doing. She knew like once it got out that John is the, is a Targaryen. John is gonna be the one who's gonna be king. She wants John to be king. I get well, that. She, she wants Daenerys. But to see, be, she doesn't to, trust Daenerys. To want to want something and to to do something is different. Yeah, but to you, want you, something you have to understand thing. how how Littlefinger worked too. He never was directly involved with something. He was always like manipulating somebody, like talking, whispering something over man. here, motivating, getting somebody motivated to do something that he wanted. And man. this is, this is what Sansa's doing. If I was in that book, I'd destroy Sansa left and right. <laughs> <laughs> just saying but anyway uh so she did something and i feel like that repercussion is gonna bring people to death um yeah, because of I mean, her her yeah. meddling and that's the thing that's why i i her not sophie turner i have no problem with sophie no turner. i understand yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that character doing that bitch ass move <laughs> fucks up <laughs> other lives for other characters in the novel and to me to me, she's just the exact same thing as her, her mother. Her mother thought she was so smart. Her mother thought she was ahead of the game. And because of her, Rob died. Ned died because of her meddling. Things where she should have just kept her mouth shut. So um, I think we all agree that, okay, there's, you know, it's out there, uh, you know. And we see it. John is, a, is the rightful heir mm -hmm. to the throne. We have Daenerys who... Bloodlusting, basically, from frothing from the mouth from this mm -hmm. fucking throne. Um, so someone has to die, right? Yeah. Who's gonna die? At yeah. At this well, point, well, it looks like Daenerys is gonna die. Yeah, at this point. But I, I, but so, anyways, while while they're they're while they're going, right? They're going. They're We're going to. They're going We're to the going. island, and she's on the dragon, and we just see arrows she's come out of nowhere and just yeah. clack 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 clack, <laughs> and and. and it's like and a down drop. goes, uh, and down goes. Everybody thought that second dragon was fucking dead already. 
Yeah. Like, everybody... Actually, yeah, I thought so too. I, thought so too. <laughs> I was like, what? Was like, oh, shit, he's, he's still alive? alive. <laughs> like, okay. So everybody thought that second dragon was already dead. Um, <laughs> turns out he's fucking alive. So when he for, died in long. this episode, <laughs> to be obvious, I was kind of like, well, I already thought it was one dragon against Cersei. So I wish they would have made it clear in the last episode that, hey, both dragons are still alive. They mm. didn't. So we go into this episode thinking there's one, but well, now there's that, two. That's true. So I didn't. I didn't. I it's trivial. Know. They kill that dragon. She's true. like, they they yeah. yeah they, she gets pissed. They start attacking the ships from long distance. They start destroying ships. They all sink. They all land on the island, and then mm. we see Mr. Dickless. Miss <laughs> Andre. Miss <laughs> Andre. And so um, they're, they're, uh, the, it, cu- it cuts, and, you know, Cersei's like, yeah. It I'm pregnant. Me. I'm pregnant. <laughs> our, our, well, we know she's pregnant already because the last season with mm-hmm. Jamie's kid. But she made – oh, I'm sorry. Uh, she, <laughs> she, made, uh, she made that crack well, – I forgot his name. The, the captain. Yulon Greyjoy? Uh, yeah. He made, she made him think, like, she got it's pregnant because of him. Him, yeah. And so she's like, you know, we're gonna win. Yeah, man, she's Dumbass. been doing this shit her whole life. So they all, <laughs> all her, all her, and all her baby's kid. Yeah, 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 all their Jamie's kid. Black so, hair motherfuckers. So then we we see that, <laughs> and then like, uh, they're they're doing all that, and they, you know, she's like, let more people in because people are coming in from all over the place. Because they feel like she's gonna protect them, and she's like, "Yeah, because if she oh, attacks, yeah, 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 she, if she attacks, she, the she city, opens the doors because she wants more people in there because she feels that Daenerys is gonna end up using the dragons and just pretty much cook up everything in the in the which routine. looks like what's gonna yeah, happen after Daenerys after Rhaegar dies. Yeah, it looks like that's where we're heading towards. Now yeah. we get to the point too that uh, so Daenerys is out for blood. Like yeah. she's she's done with this shit. And that, and that, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But, no, but, no. but it cuts right back to, and this is my point, it cuts right back to Varys and Tyrion. And they're mm-hmm. talking about who would be better. They're talking treason. They're talking That's treason. They're talking. <laughs> they're talking treason. Either Jon Snow or uh, well, Daenerys Targaryen. And no, to I me... Mean, I to mean, me, that's Tyrion, where Tyrion was saying he would rather have them both. That he was saying, I, like, yeah. let's try to get them together and married. Let's have both of them. And then Varys, yeah. Varys is like, do you think? Do you think Daenerys is gonna let him like have any type of power? Like, do you think she's willing to give that up? Well, hell yeah, no. if anybody, if anybody can control her, it's it's well, John. But. I mean, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's what that's what Tyrion was trying to lead to, but Varys is like, nah, I don't think so. And that's, that's what Sam trusts. That's, that's why. That's why. That's why you should not open your fucking mouth, Sansa. Right there. Right there. Right yeah, because Varys, wrong person. From the very beginning of the episode, when he was, that's why know, Sa- peeping game. That's why on, Sansa uh, needs to die. Varys, Varys was already scheming something from that moment. The moment he found Sansa out that, needs to die. The moment he finds out that, you know, uh, John is the rightful heir to the throne, mm-hmm. he, it's clockwork going up in there. Yeah. Mathematics. He's already scheming a plan. That's the one motherfucker that I don't I, I, I don't know what to expect from him. Well, from, I mean, he doesn't really say what he's going to do. He just says, I'm no, going to make exactly. my choice. No, I mean, no. He, he, he's like, what, he, said, he told Tyrion, he's like, look, you knew this from the beginning. I'm doing this for the people. Of the Bullshit. Seven Kingdoms, Bullshit. and like I will and I go, I will go, I will go wherever like I feel like is the rightful person, and I believe is going to be the, doing the right thing, because he's been doing this for years and years and years, and he's tired of like having these like like these tyrants take over. So My he, bro- tells, he tells Tyrion, he's like, look, look at this point, like I think I'm going to go with John, and then Tyrion's like, well, if you go to John, what happens to Daenerys? And then Varys is just quiet. And she's Tyrion, gonna die. Tyrion knows. He's like, hey, you know, if I go with John, well, shit, Daenerys ain't gonna be breathing for too long, too much longer, Chief. Well, I don't trust Varys. Yeah, go ahead, Los. I don't ahead. trust Varys. I think uh, he's gonna end up dead by the end of the season. Um, I don't think he he says he looks out for the realm, but if 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 the past is any you know indication, he just mm-hmm. looks out for himself. The man's just trying to stay alive. And he'll go with whomever he needs to go with to stay alive. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, I don't, I don't trust Varys. 
That's the last person I wanted that piece of information to get. It, to well, get to. that's why you don't. Sometimes you shouldn't have opened a stupid ass mouth. And that's so why uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see though. I mean, we'll see what happens, but because yeah. I think yeah, um, Tyrion, I think he his heart is in a good place. He's has good intentions. He really cares for the realm. He wants the best king queen up there. Yeah. I think Varian just looking to survive. So, well, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and Varys and Varys uses all this information mm-hmm. to at his disposal, and that's a great piece of information. Um, yeah, but when they were discussing it, like he he asked Tyrion how many people know. He's like about eight. He's like, oh, so it's not even a secret anymore. <laughs> like yeah. everybody's gonna know. Sansa needs to die. <laughs> Sansa but, needs to uh, die. Nah, I think Sansa knows what she's doing. I mean, I, at this point, I'm I, I and Sansa, I trust, dude, because honestly, she's the only one who's been like like right about stuff like her intuition has been on point yeah i don't know what's talking I about i mean, um, talking about I mean but she's safe, been on point too she's safe right now in winterfell so well know, so. uh from from what i'm viewing here um I, so okay so let's go to the, to the to the next scene which is like i think the most stupidest funniest that's why i just like Tyrion lannister was one of my favorite characters he really was like i, I thought he was clever i thought the way he was written the actor who does them portrayed the character very well. Um, he's funny, witty, all that good shit. Um, and you know, we we see them. You know, they they have this meeting with the queen, and the, and the queen's like, "They kill my dragon. I'm gonna burn this bitch to the ground." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Nah, chill out, cut. Like, we need these people. Like, these people are your people that you're gonna rule. You want to mm-hmm. be merciful." She's like, "Nah, I ain't having that shit." And they just look at each other like, "Fuck." So she's like, "You know what? I'll give her one last time. One last time." So oh yeah, say, this is. I think this is the part where Varys like says something like, "If I ever need to tell you something, I'll tell you." Like looking yeah. in the eye and tell you that if you do, if you're doing anything wrong, and then that's the moment that he tells he tells her like, "This, this is, is a wrong. Mistake. This is a mistake. Like, don't fucking do this shit." And then mm-hmm. she's like, and then she was like, she kind of like it seemed like she was brushing it off, and she and it was like gonna be like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do what I want," but then she was like, "Well, okay." Like let's 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 do it to where we make it seem that we are giving Cersei a chance not only to save herself but her people, which is well, her, which is uh huh. Yeah, to, 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 the way the way they made it seem is like she made it seem like we're gonna give her one last opportunity to to save face. In other words, mm-hmm. save face, and uh, we, we 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 pop onto that scene. I don't know how the fuck they moved from that island. Without any ships to, <laughs> to King's Landing, uh, I, I have I no think, idea. I don't think they were like far from there. I think it's like connected or something. I'm mm. not sure. I'm not too sure about the the last. Yeah, thing. Not, it's not. But the line. point is, I mean, that's that's here or there. But yeah, well, they so, show up. So they show they, up. They, yeah, they end up like having like this like quote unquote meeting. Like, uh, Cersei obviously has a uh, uh, what's her name, Melisandre or Missandei. She has her captured. Sunday, yeah, yeah Sunday. like has her like right front and center in front of the 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 wall, this big ass wall they have, whatever, in front of the kingdom or their whatever their castle. King's and Landing. Like, yeah, and then they have like a bunch of these like giant uh what are they called? Scorpions, I think that's what they're calling them. Like the 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 the, mm-hmm. the, the tools they shoot that the used to kill yeah, they killed yeah. the dragons. And so okay, so the two hands come down and they they you know, they meet in the middle and like like what's good? Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm gonna need your queen to give up the the castle. He's like, well, I'm gonna need your queen to, you know, fuck off. <laughs> and, well, of course, neither one gets what they want. And Tyrion's like, why am I talking to you? Let me just go talk to my sister. And right there, right there, the stupidity ensues. He walks up to the gate. He tells me. To, he tells her he to be smart. Please, you're not a monster. I <laughs> sing it. You love to your children. Well, the, the way he put like, it was that that he knows that she does. He's like, I know you don't care about your people because you. I we know that people don't like you. That's fine. But the only thing I know is yeah, that, you, care, that you really care about so. your kids. That's the only thing that I know that you care about. So for that kid that you have, you know, in the in your easy bake oven, cooking up right now give up the kingdom and surrender 
<laughs> I'm begging you, Shashi. You're yeah, not I, a I monster. It was, yeah, it's not gonna it's, happen. It, it, yeah, it, was, it wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't I gonna mean, happen. You I know never that. It was, yeah. You never. No, not even. You know, Xerxes not gonna give that shit up. She's nah. fought. She's given too much. Too too many people have died. That she like her her little children have died for her to be her where children. she's at. So her true her children. So um, you know, to me that was stupid. Um, but Tyrion has made a lot of stupid mistakes. I don't think especially it was when it comes it, to his it family. It was a necessity. I mean, you got to try everything before you, nah, you go to the nah, point where, nah. where 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 people so innocent like, people are going to get in the way of getting killed. Nah. So she's like, Missandei, oh stupid ass, got caught. Say your last word. So Missandei's like, <laughs> Dracarys. So in other words, burn the whole thing I really down. didn't care about her death. I was like, Yeah, I never <laughs> cared either. It's like, hey, can you kill her? I mean, Mr. Honestly, Dickless cared. Mr. Dickless cared. I, he he was, was the only one, bro. Like, honestly, when when I saw that she was captured, I was like, Oh, she's gonna die. There's no way yeah, she's gonna die. Yeah, me too. Me There's too. There's no way you're leaving. <laughs> and like, so I'm the, sorry. Like, who cares? The, so the mountain, like, so after I bet you, Jersey. After that shit, Jersey's just like, Hmm. And she points to the mountain, the mountain comes, chops her head off, and the body falls down. And then we see Danny turn around, and she has her anger face on. And it is. Her anger face on. Her anger face on. <laughs> and so we, in, in, in after that, we see, of course, the preview for the next episode. Mm-hmm. Which Are you sure there's two episodes? Yeah. Yeah, there's so, two more. Are there going to be, more. they're going to be eight, uh, uh, 80 minutes? Or oh, I, be... I don't remember the. Not nah, the, they're not the gonna range. be at no. Uh, the last one was the longest. This is the second longest. They're oh. actually getting shorter as we go. So the oh, next okay, one okay. will be a little shorter than this one, and then the last one will be shorter. Yeah, oh, okay, it, it's okay. weird. Yeah, so they are dropping down now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we see uh, just clips of of the battle that's about to ensue. We, we see John. <laughs> we see John Snow arrive to King's Landing. Um, uh, but be- before we, we, we end the, this thing, we also see that uh, um, Sansa receives a message that Daenerys Targaryen's dragon is dead and that uh, um, oh, yeah. the that she was, was attacked. Oh, yeah, still in that episode, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, Jamie's like, man, should I leave my cut it? Why is he leaving? Like, why? What What reason did he Because he's not a good He's like, mom. I'm not going to run away from a fight. Like, what? Is he going to? Go join the forces, or is he trying to talk to? I think he's gonna go to... try to, try to talk to. Oh my god, are you serious? That's I mean, because they didn't, they didn't really make it clear. But if that's what he yeah, I don't think that, yeah, they didn't make it clear as a change. Too. Yeah, it wasn't Cersei's even there. lying. Like, well, that's another dumbass going over there. Hey, they make men look like dumbasses in this show. I'm telling you. No, but I will say this: at least Jamie has his fucking child in her. Right, so I guess mm. that would be like reason for you to try to like. Okay, no, because he he left her, so she'll kill him. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. So right now, from right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, Arya, I, thought, I always thought he was gonna die. Like I said, Arya, Jamie, Sansa are gonna die. I just hope Sansa dies. I hope. I don't dies. think Sansa dies. They cut her throat. No, no they cut I off her Sansa. tongue for talking too much. For me, teacher. For me, teacher. In my, in my country, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, but yeah, and then uh, we get uh, Jamie leaving, Brienne the Tarth, or whatever. Please don't Brienne leave! Tarth. Brienne, Brienne the Tarth, please don't Yeah, leave. like in the, in the post show, they try to make it seem as that, that Jamie at that moment knew that, like when he stayed at Winterfell, it was more for him to be like having a second chance. Like if he like stays there life. and have a normal life, because you know he he loves uh, Brienne, but when he hears like what happened with Cersei and, and the dragons, he knew that that Daenerys is gonna go in for blood, so he knew like Cersei's going to die probably. So for him, his love for for her is is greater than anything, oh and he's been showing that he's been showing that me? like. Season after season after season, yeah. He, he even explained it's it like when he told uh, Brienne that, yeah, you know, I did this for my sister. I did yeah. this for my sister. Yeah. Like, so for me, I don't. What I mean, for idiot. me, I feel like he. That's his reasoning. That's why he's gonna go. I don't know. Like you said, like we don't know if he's actually gonna go straight to Cersei or he's gonna go to Daenerys. Whatever they're gonna do over there, but I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited if, to see what's going to happen next, to be honest. I'm excited to see, but I, I think it's just dumb motivations all around just going on. Like, 
dumb motivations. I, I mean, you've built these characters up for so long and advanced them in their storylines to just put them back at square A. And th- th- that's how I feel a lot of these storylines are going. Mm. You you brought Jamie back, rede- you redeemed him. You you He's a good guy now. Everybody fucking loves Jamie after fucking four or five seasons of everybody hating him. <laughs> and now you just put him back at square one. Look, and man. It's like, what the fuck was all that for? Everybody needs to die. Everybody, Everybody needs, to needs to die. It is Game of Thrones. I mean, I'm not saying the Night King. If R. he R. dies R. or not, R. that's, R. Night that's King. whatever. Justice for the Night King. But why are you dying? What's your reason for dying? If it's for Cersei, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, why? You you build Jamie up this whole time for him to, in the end, die for Cersei. If he dies for something else, if he dies for uh, Brienne of Tarth, okay, that's advancement. He advanced as a person. Storyline advance. You're bitching too much. To <laughs> You're bitching too much. Oh, point is, everybody's a bitch to you. Fuck you. Yeah, everybody's a bitch, man. <laughs> she's a bitch. She's a bitch. Sansa needs to die. That's why they all need. To, that's why they all need to die. Uh, but uh, great show, great episode. It wasn't too much yitty yitty. I mean, there was a lot of yada yada yada. Seven out of ten. I mean, honestly, like I think last yeah. last season's. Uh, like the the whole last season, was I think better. it's I think it spoiled everybody too much in terms of like I agree. what 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 they were expecting for season eight. I'm like, um, have you guys not seen season one through six? Like that, yeah. that season no, seven I, was like its own thing. Like, don't expect it to continue that. No, no, no. Th- this I'm not disappointed by the episode. I'm not disappointed by dialogue. Like di- uh, dialogue is no after best. after a battle after a battle. It's okay to have dialogue. Before a battle, all right, like no, Dragon Ball Z, I, I don't. Know. It's, they that's Game of Thrones. It was just that's Game of Thrones, man. That's Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> watch something else if you want action every episode. Like, the so, whole no, fucking, uh, that doesn't bother me. It's just where these storylines are going bothers me. Oh, that's what you. bothers me. Sansa bothers me a little. Uh, Jamie leaving bothers me. She, like, he, he needs to die. Little things here bother me about the episode now. I mean, it, I wasn't disappointed by the episode. I was on every scene, listening to every word, mm. right? Because Game of Thrones gets me like that. So, no, I'm not disappointed by the episode. I'm just disappointed in certain, well, certain arcs. Well, it's about to end, guys. Uh, so, just let us know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, what was uh, your uh, your rating for this episode? Mine, a seven. Seven? What was yours, Lowe's? Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yeah, I think a good seven out of ten yeah. for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not bad, but it's not great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stupidity. Shout out it's to not... my boy. Shout out to my boy Tormund. No Tormund. Time. Hey man. Uh, oh yeah, they said farewell to Tormund. Like that that you know uh Messendre, whatever, giant. I feel more bad seeing Tormund leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even die. I, yeah. I feel more bad seeing him leaving. Samuel might it might be the last time him and John ever speak to each other, depending on what happens with John. I felt more bad for those those sure goodbyes than seeing Misandre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I was gonna wrap it up for this uh, yeah. season eight, episode four recap of Game of Thrones. Uh, again, uh, this is gonna this is live on Twitch every Sunday after every episode. Uh, the real D's are going to be on YouTube. That's the three way podcast. Uh, that's going to be on Tuesdays. Uh, and Mondays, of course, is our main podcast. Wednesdays are our hump day shows. Chikaris! Um, this Wednesday's uh, hump day show is actually uh, some Attack on Titan because it's back. Woo! Season three, part two. That's weird. Why they do season three, part two? I don't know, man. Everybody <laughs> doing they're them, Japanese, man. man. Come on. Man. I don't <laughs> anyways, know. They do things their own way. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And Peace. Uh, good night. Love. Are you fake?